Eli Manning, the number one selection by the San Diego Chargers in the NFL Draft. Now remember, he asked the team not to draft him. They did anyway and traded him less than an hour later. And even with all this water, I even managed to stay at least halfway dry. So it's two years and two eight and five seasons under head coach Ron Zook. Now even though the Sox missed out on A-Rod, they strengthened their pitching staff. Chris, is it packed in there yet? <laughs> oh, not yet, but it's getting there. If you look behind me, uh, fans are already starting to pile into City of Palms Park. Once again, tickets for tonight are sold out except for standing room only seats. Well, when parents divorce, there are many times when the child only maintains a relationship with one parent. Well, that hasn't happened in North Fort Myers Jr. Leon Battle. After moving down here with his mother seven years ago, he still talks to his dad every day. Unfortunately, his dad never got a chance to see him play football until last night. Today is my birthday. I wanted to celebrate that with him. I also celebrate the fact that I get to see him for the first time actually playing football. He's uh, way up in Ohio and I'm here in Florida, but you know, we still want to keep a close relationship. We call each other about every night, every morning. We tell, when I'm in school, slip the phone when the teacher's not looking, text messages, him, just say, how you doing, what's going on? I've been so excited, I've been waiting for this for such a long time. Before the game, I was just, I was thinking, man, I gotta play extra hard, you know? I got to come out here wanting to hit, wanting to hurt somebody. Come here and show them what North Fort Myers football is about. Hey, man. What's going on? How are you? Good. 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 Hey, son. I'll see you up there. I love you. All right. All right. And uh, I'm going to be out there yelling for you. You'll know, you know who's yelling the loudest, right? He loves to talk. My pops has a big mouth. Come on, Leon. That's what I'm talking about. That's it, baby. Stand him up, drive him back. Yeah, that's the block, Lee. Good block, big boy. When I did get a chance, I'd point over to him and laugh. You look good, 77. Boy, I love that boy. He's a warrior. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. The door is open for Joe Maurer, but don't tell him that. I don't really uh, believe in stuff until it actually happens. The Twins traded away all-star catcher A.J. Pierzynski in the offseason, giving Maurer a shot at the starting job. We think Joe Maurer is a pretty good player, and you don't trade a good player unless you have one like Joe coming along. There's no doubt that Maurer is one of the rising stars in baseball, but at the age of 20, is he ready for the big leagues this year? I think he can handle it. Um, he's, he's a really mature 20-year-old, and, and everybody can vouch for that. And People get get the big leagues at different ages, and uh, all, all players are different. He's a stud. This guy's a really good player. And a good athlete. Bobby Bowden offered him a football scholarship at Florida State three years ago. Bobby Bowden, you got to figure out a way to beat the Longhorn, son. And it ain't going to be with Joe Maurer. Because it looks like he's got plenty of fans already doing this baseball thing. In Lee County, Chris Bacon, Wink Sports. No, Tom Demogenes is a boxing coach. I've been a boxing coach for about 25 years. Now he's training 13-year-old Michael Hannaford and his 11-year-old brother Matthew. We do push-ups, sit-ups, a lot of free weights. But he isn't training them to be boxers. He's training them to be golfers. There's a certain toughness that all the top-level athletes have had to take on to be the best. And that part I can help them with. On the golf course, Tom helps the boys with their mental game, preparing them for all kinds of situations. Playing with, uh, without all the clubs in their bag sometimes, sometimes talking while they're putting. <coughs> they might have a 30-foot putt or something like that. I might say, give you a buck if you get it in. Again, putting the pressure on them. It's made them better. The junior golf scoreboard ranks Michael among the top 20 players in Florida for his age. They rank Matthew as the number one 11 year old in the state, third in the nation. I want to be on the tour by about, I think, 19, by age 19, and I want to be number one on the PGA tour. That means a lot more of these. If it's going to improve my golf, anything to improve my golf. Learning commitment at an early age. In Cape Coral, Chris Bacon, Wink Sports. And now, Wink Sports. A year ago, the Florida Marlins weren't even mentioned as possible World Series champions. Fast forward a year, they're defending world champions, sitting pretty three games ahead of the Atlanta Braves in the NLE standings. Dontrell Willis hadn't even given up an earned run so far this season until the first inning. 
Mark DeRosa hits his first homer of the season. It's 1-0 Braves early. Seventh inning now. Score tied at two. J.D. Drew hits a deep one here. Base is loaded. It stays in the park. Then Luis Castillo, he bobbles the relay throw. And then Drew comes all the way around. and scores. He's credited with a triple and a run. Four runs in the seventh for the Braves. And the Marlins fall tonight 7-2. Cubs win 4-1 over the Mets. Colorado over Houston. Cardinals get homers by Albert Pujols and Jim Edmonds to win 5-2 over the Brewers. Montreal shuts out Philly 2-0. Pittsburgh blanking Cincy. The Dodgers drill the Giants 9-0. And the Diamondbacks take care of San Diego 12-7. Sox going for the sweep against the Yankees with Pedro Martinez on the mound. I think he likes getting booed by that smile. I also think he likes great defense. Alex Rodriguez, the hit to right. Kevin Millar makes the nice grab. Pedro says, yeah, thanks. It's still nothing, nothing until Manny comes up off Javi Vasquez. It's Ramirez's fifth of the year. It's 2 nothing. Pedro, great outing. Freezes Hideki Matsui. Seven innings, seven strikeouts for Martinez. Red Sox sweep the Yankees. The 2 nothing win. Twins and Royals. Torrey Hunter back in the lineup after missing two weeks with a hamstring injury. Third inning. Welcome back. Three-run shot off Brian Anderson, his first of the year. It's 4 nothing. Twins. Ninth inning now. Joe Nathan on to close. The base is loaded. Strikes out Tony Graffinino to end the game. Twins win this one 4-2. And other AL scores. Cleveland over the Detroit 3-2. Toronto walks all over Baltimore 15-3. Texas over Seattle. The White Sox won better than the D-Rays. And Anaheim beats Oakland 4-2-3. NHL players will not play in the 2006 Olympics if there is a lockout next year. NFL Commissioner Gary Bettman told the International Ice Hockey Federation that if there is a lockout shortened season next year, the league wouldn't want to take a 16-day break to play in the Olympics the following year. NHL playoffs tonight, Tampa Bay hosting Montreal. First period, Brad Rich Richards the shot, Frank Moden with the redirect here. It is two to nothing. Lightning. Final seconds here. The second period. Watch this play. <laughs> Vinny LeCavier with the breakaway, and with just a few seconds left, he scores the goal. The Tampa Bay Lightning have a 2-0 lead after the. After after this 3-1 win tonight, it is their fifth straight victory. One more game, the Philadelphia Flyers win 2-1 over Toronto. Flyers have a 2-0 lead in that series. To humble Texas for the Shell Houston Open. Uh, these Ducks had plenty to swim in today. They rained most of the day. Officials had to po postpone play till tomorrow. Zach Johnson, Steve Stricker, and Steve Lowry are your leaders at 5-under. Champions Tour, the Legends of Golf Tournament. Gil Morgan on 14. This 10-footer goes. He's at minus 11. Hale Irwin leads on 16 at 11 under. He misses the four footer, ties him with Morgan. Then on 18, Irwin taps it in for the win. He's 58 years old, and that's his 59th tournament. NASCAR now. Dale Earnhardt Jr. looking for another Talladega victory at the Aaron's 499. Now, this is how you get out of the pits fast. You knock the other guy's tire out of the way. And then later on, five laps to go in the race. Jeff Gordon just ahead of Jr. Brian Vicker spins behind him. Gordon was just barely ahead of Earnhardt when it happened. Happen, and Jeff Gordon wins the Aaron 499 on the caution. Ah, nice finish. Yes.